Hi, this is Dr. Robert Chow from Northern Virginia, reporting live from ACR 2021 for Room Now. Um, I'd like to share with you a, a really interesting uh, abstract in the world of psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis, and it is abstract uh, 944. Um, and this focused on the uh, microbiome again. And we know that, you know, uh, up to 30% of psoriasis patients can progress into psoriatic arthritis. Um, there is a thought that there is this discordance in psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis suggests potential epigenetic or environmental factors playing a role. Um, there's also evidence that the microbiome has a, a significant impact on psoriatic disease pathogenesis. So the question is, is, what are some of the factors contributing to the transition from psoriasis to psoriatic arthritis? Uh, we know initially it could be dependent on factors such as obesity, uh, maybe biomechanical stressors, uh, infections, or even genetic factors such as, you know, relatives and, and HLA B27 allele. Um, but is there a second hit, maybe like a trauma, comorbidities, or, or a microbiome-related event even? And this study uh, tried to characterize the host microbiome relationship by studying the gut and skin microbiome. And I think the really interesting thing is this was a monozygotic twin study. Um, that were discordant for uh, psoriatic disease, meaning one uh, twin had uh, psoriatic disease and the other didn't. Um, and I think it was, it was the first of its kind. So stool and, and skin swabs were collected from nine sets of monozygotic twins. And uh, one who had, of course, psoriatic disease and the, the other being uninfect, unaffected. And uh, these studies then underwent uh, metagenomic and RNA sequencing. Um, and again, they found ruminococcus was reduced or virtually absent in the gut of psoriatic patients. And this may be related uh, or associated with psoriatic disease. They also found two pathways um, that were upregulated, uh, including the tetrahydrofolate synthesis pathway. And lastly, they also noted uh, microbiome differences, even in healthy appearing normal skin of psoriatic patients and a decreased diversity compared to the unaffected twin. Um, I think, you know, we are obviously seeing more and more microbiome um, studies every year at these conferences. Um, and the, there's a few questions that still remain. Uh, one, which is, uh, what are the downstream effects of, of these findings? I think we have a lot of studies that show we found something, but the question is, what do we do with these findings? How do we target them? Can we target them? And another interesting question is, are these microbiome differences um, affecting the disease pathogenesis itself? Or could it potentially be affecting the drug metabolism uh, in, in our patients? Um, I think, you know, all very interesting questions and, and very promising studies. And I think only time will tell. So thanks for tuning in for uh, live coverage of ACR 2021. Uh, visit roomnow.com and follow me on Twitter at Dr. RBC. Thanks.